हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जैमरी न्यू आई डिज़ाइन सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टुडे करंट प्लान डैशबोर्ड व्हाट यू हैव प्लान एंड व्हाट इज द करंट प्लान एंड द ट्रांजैक्शन एंड योर पेमेंट डिटेल ओके दिस इज स्क्रॉलेबल सो आई विल शो यू थ्रू वीडियो so this is and uh, this is another switch here it is button and this is two radio button okay so let's begin with the code so first uh, we will see dashboard for uh, plans so what we have plans and what are the uh, uh, what are the previous plan what are the current plan and the recent transaction which will show in the dashboard uh, i request all of you uh, please uh, uh, share your feedback in the comment section if it is uh, uh, helpful to you or not so this is the code uh, this is uh, i have created control for uh, uh, this navigation bar uh, uh, so in the navigation bar the main control is grid control uh, with this image this is a hamburger image or three lines if you search hamburger in google it will show all the uh, image line and this is the label label for uh, this comma e-commerce means title and the another label for uh, this is mic which is used from font awesome the font awesome uh, detail i will uh, sh share in the link uh, comment section uh, sorry description section and this is frame under frame i have added search bar okay so after uh, this uh, uh, navigation bar i have added scroll view because i don't want this uh, navigation bar to scroll i want only this space to be scroll so i added scroll bar below the uh, navigation bar so here uh, it is main control is grid control okay and uh, in the grid control the first control is label for pan, plan detail uh, this is a uh, style a uh, pop uh, this uh, styles you have to mention in app uh, app dot xaml uh, uh, this is very helpful to you for example if same label with same font font family and text color and font size you have to use in all throughout the uh, application or in some of the page so you have to write all the things repeatedly so create style in uh, app.xaml in resource dictionary tag create in style tag add target type uh, what you want to uh, target to any control so i want to target to label control so i have written your label and the key Uh, give any uh, name to this type okay and use setter tag and the property name and what will be the value of this property and this is uh, text color text color uh, again i have mentioned here this is color style okay and i have given name and pass the value here i have used this color Yeah, I I have written this because uh, this color I want to use in many things. For example, in a label, in a text box, or in buttons. So I have used uh, color tag. Okay, it is uh, if you have uh, this is something uh, we can call as a style sheet we are using web web application. if you know web application then uh, you will know the css 
This is one type of CSS. Create a particular style here and use this style in all, uh, um, where you want to implement this style. Uh, if uh, in future, if you want to change this uh, uh, font uh, or text color, then you can change from here only. Then it will affect in all the places. So uh, I suggest to use uh, app uh, resource dictionary these styles. Uh, it will be very helpful to you. Okay. After that, uh, I have added a frame. This is frame, and in the frame, I have added grid. And here is a label. This is font awesome. Okay, and this is a label for uh, current plan, and uh, this is a label for XYZ plan. And this image is row span too, so it will uh, use this two row. And after that, I will added button. Okay, and it is dy uh, dynamic resources for text color and the primary color, uh, which is uh, coming from same uh, app dot xaml. I will share all the code uh, uh, code link in the description se uh, section, so you can copy it from there. Another. I have added box view to show the line. I want uh, uh, space after and before the line, so I, uh, I have added margin. Okay, so 10 means it will show space uh, below the line and one for uh, height of the line. Okay, 10 plus 1 is equal to 11, so I have used 11. In the row definition height after that same copy from here paste here and change the uh, row uh, row number so it is 0 1 2 3 okay this is third row number for uh, uh, this font awesome and another label is for this uh, uh, payment uh, plan detail and the uh, this is for amount okay and this is button after that in okay this frame is completed after that uh, I have added uh, in third row uh, label for current plan so you can see in all the control I have used uh, style so please use styles it will be very helpful to you if you uh, make changes if you if your client asks to change the color uh, theme or something else you can change it from the app.xml you don't have to change in every page after that this is a list view this list view has template Uh, first is uh, this is written by mistake so remove this uh, extra stack layout use from this stack layout this stack layout uh, uh, has a, a frame and in the frame I have added grid because uh, uh, frame uh, will take only one control so I have to use grid so to show all the uh, to add all the control here so I have added grid and grid having this image having row span 3 0 1 2 means 3 and a label for uh, label for uh, this this is on first row this is label for uh, in the okay 
this i have used five column because it is zero one two three four and this is fifth okay so this is a uh, fifth column for the price and uh, another is a label for um, this is for the Uh, this is for uh, this uh, lip, uh, this uh, icon and after that uh, show the place after that i have added this uh, one two three four four labels uh, for this uh, time and uh, uh, a minutes and this is share icon and the heart icon okay then after that i have added a uh, button in the fifth column okay after that uh, this is list view again i have added the label for current transaction and another list view for this uh, data so this is current transaction template the uh, here is main control is stack layout under the stack layout i added frame under the frame i added uh, grid grid having a uh, font or some label and this is label for uh, um, the title and this is description this is price and the balance okay and uh, uh, i want to show if it is in if price is in minus so it will show in red and if it is uh, uh, in positive it will show in green so i have set uh, this data in in the class i have created these classes and i have added this uh, value i have assigned this value to the text color if uh, if it is uh, in minus if value is in minus then it will i will uh, set the color as red else it will be green okay and this color is set by binding the text color okay i hope you understand this let's um, view another page here same uh, i have used uh, navigation bar after the navigation bar i have added uh, a scroll view and after the scroll view i have added uh, grid grid having label and after label i have added frame uh, this is font or awesome some label and and uh, uh, this is label for date and time and this is start time means uh, at what time i have uh, uh, plan is uh, book and the and the duration okay after that i have added label for services and after that i have added frame frame having grid grid having list view this uh, I, we don't have uh, detail that how many uh, the item will be added here so i have used use list view here after that i have added this line and then this label okay you can see i have added line after that i have added this labels and this label for discount and then line and and the label for total okay after that i have added frame frame having a grid grid having checkbox which is respond to and after that in the uh, second column first row is for uh, label for wallet and second row is for current balance same here um, there are uh, 
uh, one more frame and then button as uh, we show in uh, video so this is frame just copy this and instead of checkbox use radio button if you want only one radio button to be selected then use uh, radio button group this radio button group and uh, use group name okay I will create a video for radio button group so it will be uh, easy for you to understand. Uh, in short, I will tell you that uh, use radio button group here also radio button group. Uh, give group name uh, same for both the radio button so only one radio button will be selected at a time. Okay, if you use only radio button then it will select it. It both will be selected. Okay, I hope uh, you understand this video. Uh, if you have any question, then ask me in the comment section. Please like, subscribe my channel. Thank you.